going on everyone? It's Liam. Today's mission, I'm going to be shooting uh, real estate photography, high rises and houses, if I can find any nice, nice, nice little houses in the neighborhood. I'm going to be in Yaletown and English Bay today. And uh, by the end of the video, I'll probably end up at JJ Bean. It's a coffee shop in English Bay right by the, right by the ocean. I'm going to pick out a book and dive into it, but today's video is primarily that. So I'm just going to clean that off and uh, dive into the next. But yeah, that's my bag and that's what I'll be carrying today. By the way, here's some inspiration. This one I got for actually 50 cents at the most recent book sale at the library. Pretty stoked on it. That's going to be a really key book in uh, finding new inspiration. So, sick. It's going to be a leisure day because the weather's so nice. It's like spring out here and it's January. So today will be a super comfortable day to get out and take some photos. I'm glad that today is going to be the day. So I'm only one block away from my house and we're already seeing some sweet detail. Anyways, this is one of my favorite buildings. I'm gonna sit down for a moment and take some photos. I'll show you them as soon as I capture them. So I just got off the Yale Town Station train. I'm headed to English Bay and we'll get some photos there. But this journey starting here, we'll be shooting primarily structural photos. So real estate photos practice today, that's going to be the goal. Each building that I stop and shoot, I'll show you the, the finished product. So right now I'm on the corner of Davy and Homer Street and I'm just going to take a couple of photos of this structure right here. It could be more intricate. As you can see, this is the setup I'm using today. It's a pretty entry level Canon uh, T5 with the Tamron 24 to 70 millimeter lens. Here's a great representation of how clean this lens is. Really crisp images, but this is the setup for this evening. If you look behind me here, you'll see a building that I'm just about to shoot. It kind of has a sandstone color, so I'm just gonna take a couple photos of this as well. We are in the flesh right now. Um, so, Buildings like this, with my current lens, you really have to stand far away from it in order to get the full scope of the height. So that's one kind of iffy part of this lens that I uh, could use some improvement for. Three, checked off the list. So I'm reaching Granville right here, it's right behind me. But I just wanted to say one thing this video is gonna be focusing on is capturing the full image of a building. I'm not gonna be doing any abstract architectural photos just because most real estate photographers aren't doing abstract photography. I just wanna say, look at around this, look at around me. We got a lot of options. There's no shortage of architecture here. This is the last block before the Granville Bridge starts. There goes the bus over the bridge. But I just wanna say, this piece right here is insane. Look at the intricacies. This is style. This is a key component into shaping our future. So on this on this particular photo, I cropped out this part of the portion just because it's a lot of like aimless clutter that I don't really want to see. I just didn't want to like add the clutter on the base level of that piece. So right now, I'm gonna make my way to capture a good image of this piece. So let's see what we can collect. That's what we're looking. Things that defy the system of logic, but it looks kind of unstable and risky. And that's kind of how humanity is. Quite perishable, quite like susceptible to change. So that's a great representation of kind of the laws of human nature. I was just walking down this path, right? And I said I wasn't gonna shoot any abstract style art photos, but this was too good of an opportunity. I took advantage of the photo, you'll see it. So, English Bay is to the right over here, but I'm just gonna go into this building right beneath it. There's a grocery store and my roommate works there. It'll be a nice surprise. So this place is actually closed. Um, I'm just gonna continue walking westward towards English Bay. But this is utterly insane. The contrast in this imagery is insane. I'm particularly shooting this building. It's a little hard to kind of get a good image of because of all this clutter right here. But yeah, let's take a look. I'm recognizing a lot more intricacies in this city when I'm out shooting. It's definitely a really engaging time today. 
about now I'm rolling up to Burrard Street. It's starting to get a little darker out, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Yeah, fucking shred. Vancouver's hopping on board with the skate scene. I'm in the west end of Vancouver now, and it's turning into more condominiums and smaller buildings. There is still quite a bunch of tall buildings, but they're so close quarters that I can hardly get a good full image of them. So while I was walking through the, the neighborhood, I found this little, this like condominium, like a little house in a way. I just thought it was really nice. And uh, captured some photos, so maybe we're gonna dive into more of the housing photos now. Uh, in the background here, this right here, I just shot a photo of. I'm realizing how beautiful this neighborhood is. So many ins and outs, so many plants, trees, um, hedges. Is that each building has a similar character. All the facades of these buildings are quite similar. Similar materials are used. So that's one thing, there's a lot of patterns in this neighborhood. I just wanted to show you this neat little garden. It's a cool landscape space. Look at this yellow ass building. Pops up right over here. You can see English Bay. All the water's over there. I just shot a pic of this. That chrome and blue really blend together nicely. Well, I don't know about you, but there's something different about shooting architecture than shooting portraits, shooting events such as that, right? I think it's way more calm, first of all. You're alone, you're shooting the subject. But another reason is because I grew up skateboarding, so I'm super compelled by shapes, structure, symmetry, lines, things of that sort, right? Materials. This city does that for me, and that's why I just enjoy wandering around like this. I don't know about you, but what do you think of these squiggles on the side of this building? Those squiggles are a representation of the ocean environment. So we made it to English Bay. So from Yale Town to English Bay, finished my walk, got a lot of photos, but for now, this is my end point and I'm gonna go up the street to a coffee shop to go read. to uh, JJ Bean. Let's get some books in. That's gonna be the end of my video. Got a fresh coffee and a book. This is the combination I'm gonna end the video off. With. This video is a tribute to drive and creativity and spontaneity because this video is basically all spontaneity. I want to go out and have fun this day and I don't want to really waste my time doing some lame shit and consuming boring product. And so let's get it. Downtown English Bay, Yelltown, let's go.